so good. I am inclined to tune in just like I should. Uh, number nine, people of all ages just can't get enough of pickleball. It's considered a less intense, more accessible version of tennis. But with the rise in popularity comes the rise in injuries, especially oh for seniors. Doctors are seeing more cases of tendinitis, muscle contusions, and sprains, not to mention more serious fractures or breaks. They say most people aren't stretching beforehand and oh boy. to warm up their body, and doing this can help quite a bit. So it's just... It's just a smaller version of tennis, yeah. right? With yeah. like a ping pong yeah, paddle, yeah, yeah. kind of? Right. Something like that, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, number eight, the new season of Bridgerton is just a few weeks away. I don't have to tell you that, Larry. Oh, boy. So why not get into it with some shoes inspired by the show? A 14-piece capsule collection is set to launch on March 15th. You can expect to find satins, feathered plumes, other dramatic designs in shades of blues and yellows. And there should be something for everyone. The collection will feature reimagined styles for both men and women. Feathers are having a moment right now, Larry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big moment. So get in on the trend All while right. you can. All right, number seven. chimes of Big Ben in London. Until January, they had been silent for four years. Big Ben stands at the north end of the Houses of Parliament and is officially called the Elizabeth Tower. Oh. In 2017, they took the hands off the clock and it underwent a really complicated renovation. That's because they had to move all sorts of roof tiles and about a thousand pieces of the inner workings of the clock. And also, uh, no one really knows why it's called Big Ben since the 1850s. It's either because of a famous boxer or some guy who was a civil servant. Huh. Well, you gotta be careful putting that back together, don't you? A thousand pieces and yeah. you miss one, misplace one. Right, and yeah. you get the directions out, you can never yes. read those yeah. things. <laughs> All right, number six, if you ever sent this in. We've all seen these plastic stackable chairs. They're called monoblock chairs and been around since the 40s, but there was never a patent filed for them. Well, Gustavo Gamboa from Chicago saw an opportunity. He's worked for the U.S. Postal Service for 35 years, and he had an idea to design, manufacture, and patent his own version of the chair that has a spot on one arm to hold a plate and the other arm to hold a drink or a wine glass. Uh -huh. ah, look at that little genius. slot for your phone or your iPad. Look at that. Simple brilliance. All it's right. called the perfect party chair. He's having some challenges getting it into the big box stores though, uh, so you can check out his website for more info, you know, which is go, on the bottom of your screen. Go Chicago guy. Yeah. This is great. We keep saying we're one, one good idea yeah. from getting out of here. Just one. <laughs> Still haven't come up with anything. No. He tried real hard. No, he really <laughs> has. That's, that's probably the problem. Number five, still looking for a spring break or summer vacation ideas? Take the family to North Carolina oh. and mine for gold. Oh. Reed Gold Mine is the site of the first documented gold find in the United States. It led the nation in gold production back in 1848, and at one time, more than $1 million in gold was recovered per year. You can still mine for gold. It's just three bucks a person per pan, but you need to make a reservation one month in advance. Mm. Right, number four, more from a Reddit community called Awful Taste, Great Execution. <coughs> the name says it all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Is that a monkey? Yeah. It's a bashful monkey. Right. Oh, boy. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, oh, look at that. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. It oh, is pretty it's cool. Creepy. Oh, look oh, at that. It's covered wagon. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> you remember oh, the covered my. wagons? Look at that. That's a tattoo? <laughs> that's yeah. dedication oh, right there. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hmm. All right. 
Uh, number three, uh, Larry, I don't have to tell you. Hummus. Oh, yeah. Hummus is delicious. Yeah. But if you want to switch it up a little bit, try dessert hummus. It's a Ooh. sweet take on the savory dip. Think cake batter meets pudding <laughs> with a smooth and creamy texture. Uh, in flavors like salted caramel, strawberry, chocolate, or vanilla, you could dip fruit in there, or little pieces of pound cake, yeah. or hey, wow. how about this? How about pretzels for a mix of sweet and salty? And if you really want to go nuts, make a charcuterie board with dessert hummus as your centerpiece wow. and blow some minds. You can make it yourself, of course, but lots of grocery stores have it right there on the shelf. Can you imagine so you, you have a cheese tray and you think you're dipping into a, a, a bowl of cheese there and you get some bean dip? Well, I think most people yeah. would probably tell the difference between cheese and hummus, but, you know, for those who can't, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of on them, to be honest with you. I know you. everyone loves the hummus. I just, it's beans. Like it. You're putting chocolate in beans? No. They're making it sweet, and uh, sweet though. I don't think, I think they're just calling it hummus. I don't think they're putting garbanzo beans in there. You don't think so? I, that wasn't the impression I, think I got. It, I you think know. it's I chocolate don't know. I'm not hummus, sure, Pat. Right? This is a very good question. It's chickpeas in there. We'll update How do you that? know? Did you write the story? Because he knows. He's listening. What does he know? Hold on. I the read the same story. <laughs> the producer is Googling it right now. <laughs> sure. See, I got the impression they were just calling it hummus because it had a hummus-like texture. I think they're flavoring. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm with say, you. It does say oh. Wait, what? garbanzo beans. Oh, that's repugnant. I'm with you then. I didn't hear what he Terry said. Terry says no. You say yes. Can we get to the bottom of this? And we'll re-air it tomorrow for this important follow-up story. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want me to move on to number two? No, what? no, not necessarily. No, I'd yeah, kind of like to know the, the answer, but... Well, okay. See. Oh, say? Terry says it's made of fruit. So well, you're... why do they call it at home? It's no, not there hummus, it's fruit. It. I'm looking there at two beans. recipes. All they right. both say beans. All right, so see? you can go either way. Yeah. Do... It's up to you. Robin, I'm with you. If there's beans in it, I want no part of it. No. Well, I mean, it's not a dessert, but it, if you're calling it hummus, it, it has to have some hummus in it, right? Right. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, eating, I'm not eating either one, yeah. so it's up to you, Larry. I'm just trying to picture you Larry can, busting out the chocolate hummus and pound cake in you the morning. You can be the one to try it. That's in your wheelhouse. Yeah. Oh. Peanut butter, cookie dough, dessert hummus, no beans in it. Uh, oh, no, it does have beans. Uh, yeah, the I hell with it. I'm not that. eating right. that nonsense. All right. I'm with you. <laughs> Look, at, we bring people the answers. Yeah. We bring we? people the answers, and that's why <laughs> we're kicking Everybody Kelly and Ryan's ass. Everybody at home Googled that five minutes ago and has the answer, and they're like yelling at their yeah. TV, like, there's beans. Yeah. All right, number two. You might think the life of a PGA caddy is tough, but they do just fine. It might take a few years of hustling and sleeping on hotel floors, but a steady gig can be very lucrative. Most of the established golfers on tour. Oh, that was a bit. Well, pay their caddies about 8% of their earnings and about 10% of their earnings for a win. Mm. So the top 50 caddies on tour earned at least $600,000. Wow. Wow. A few years back, Rory McElroy's caddy was making about $1.6 million before he was let go. That's why I got let go. <laughs> He's costing too much. Yeah. Yeah. A guy named Austin Johnson makes about the same amount, maybe because he caddies for his brother, Dustin Johnson, who's won two majors and was until recently recently ranked number one for a very long time. Mm. All right, number one, I bet very few people know that Australian comedian Barry Humphreys turned 88 recently. This here is one of his characters, the loudmouth and uncultured Sir Les Patterson. <laughs> and here's a clip of Sir Les on a British talk show from a while back. You might recognize the actress next to him. She is Martine McCutcheon, and she was in Love Actually. Now, what about Lady Gwen? Lady Gwen, How my she? wife. Yes. She's very similar to your wife. She never sees me. She never sees me. It's sad. Gwen, she's nice, but she's boring. It's <laughs> terrible. She could bore an asshole on a wooden horse. <laughs> <laughs> But I bought her a lovely present last Christmas. This is an idea. Do you know what I gave Gwen? She won't be seeing this. This is not going to Australia, no, is no, it? No, no. My wife, I gave her a dog last Christmas to keep her company. She's as lonely as buggery, my wife. And uh, I bought her this dog, and she called me up a couple of months ago. And she said, Liz, a dog doesn't respond to my whistle anymore. My wife would whistle, the dog would come to her because she whistles naturally. She's always had a loose denture. <laughs> and, uh, the dog, she 
said, I'm worse than the dog hasn't moved. What should I do? I said, go along to the vet. Oh, I better still just go to the chemist and buy some of that stuff in a tube that takes the hair off, a depilatory. Because I said, you better get it because the dog's got hair in the sea, it's that's right, I can't hear you whistling. So you get the cream. So she said, she went to the chemist and he said, well, look, before she could say anything, he said, if you're using it on your legs, plenty of soap and water because it's caustic. And he said, if it's for the armpits, more soap and water. And if you're using it on your face, Lady Patterson, really, you better wash it off quick. She said, well, actually, it's for my schnauzer. <laughs> He said, in that case, he said, don't ride a bike for a fortnight. That's what he said. But... Ray. Ray is loving this. Oh, really pulling got Pulling the blue stuff. <laughs> We're working blue today. <laughs> is he crying? I don't think I've ever seen Ray laugh at anything. No. <laughs> 17 years. I don't think I've ever seen this reaction from him. Tears are coming out of his eyes. We can't get a shot of him because he's the camera yeah, guy. He's the only right. one who can get a shot of himself. All right, that's the night at nine. <laughs> Sweet.